everybody, how y'all doing? Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. Well, in keeping with the same old pattern, not on purpose, of course, where we have a day where we laugh and have a great time and it's just because something silly or stupid happened. And then unfortunately it gets broken up with um, current events of stupidity, but in an unfunny way. That's what we're going to be doing, talking about today. And what you may be thinking, Steve, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about Portland again. Uh, Portland, Oregon, downtown. What happened about two, three nights ago, a young man was driving through there uh, on a white pickup truck. A uh, white young man, very young man, driving through there. He sees a group of BLM protesters, rioters, and troublemakers beating up a trans woman on the si on the sidewalk. He gets out to help, calm things down, break things up, and uh, that happens. So as he's going to get back in his truck, the woman he's with is stepping out of the truck like, hey, what's going on? She gets jumped. He starts to get jumped. So he gets in his truck to just say, hey, don't want any problems, drive away, tries to speed away, ends up hitting a phone pole or a tree or something. So now he's got to get back out of the car. They catch up with him. They grab him push them on the ground hard, push them on the ground hard, start beating them in the face, smacking them around, calling them all kinds of names, including the N-word, which for those of you who've always told me that nigga is a term of endearment that black we can use for each other, but nobody else can say it. How come I'm seeing more and more videos of young black punk ass thugs beating up white people, calling them nigga? miss me with this whole term of endearment stuff if you don't want white and i don't believe in banning no words but if you don't want white people to say it then you stop saying it because it's not a term of endearment so miss me with all that miss me with all that but i digress at any rate start beating him in the face he said he's like he's, he's like sitting there hey guys i don't want no trouble i wasn't trying to hurt anybody and this guy loses his mind young dude starts screaming what do you mean we're trying to hurt nobody and popped him in the jaw other people have to grab him. That's how how stupid this punk ass fool is. So they hit him a few more times, leave him alone, walk away from him. As they're walking away, the guy who, by the way, BLM is wearing a, a shirt that says security on the back of it, supposedly BLM security, comes up from behind with a running kick, kicks homeboy in the face, in the head. So violently, his head jerks back, he falls flat on the street, hits his head on the street, he is out. Looked like he was dead. And then the guy standing over him with his hands, with his fists clenched, like, what's up, nigga? All this other stuff. Now, all of a sudden, a few people are trying to take care of him. They're trying to put some water on the face, trying to get him to wake up. But what you have is a punk who kicked this dude in the face, sucker kicked him because he didn't see it coming. He was just sitting there probably thinking, man, how did I get, how did I end up in all this? I was just trying to help. Guy comes up from behind him, kicks him in the, in the right side of his face, knocks him back violently, knocks him clean out. Guy has to go to the hospital. Spends a couple of days in the hospital, in fact. Last I heard, I was watching Jericho Green earlier. Shout out to Jericho Green. If you haven't watched his videos, please do. That guy is phenomenal. But last I heard today, uh, this is a story I'm familiar with for the past couple of days, but last I heard today, according to what I heard Jericho talk about, uh, the young man's brother says he's home. But see, what we don't know yet is what kind of injuries he suffered. Does he have maybe some, you know, is he gonna have any, uh, you know, any physical issues, any brain damage? Does he, does he have any, is he gonna have any mental issues? We don't know. And all because he was trying to help someone. So for those of you who want to keep telling those of us who disagree with you that BLM is all about uh, justice and helping and supporting black folks. By the way, the guy who kicked this white guy in the face is biracial. It's always these little young biracial punks with identity issues that are causing problems. Now, not, they're not the only ones, but these guys have issues causing problems. The guy, so the guy who got kicked in the face is white. The guy who kicked him in the face is black. Bet you haven't heard about it on mainstream media. As of yesterday, in fact, last night, the only news channel I know of that was covering it, maybe other than ONN, OAN rather, was Fox News. 
So it took two, new, two conservative news channels to cover this. Nobody else in the mainstream media is touching it. I wonder why. I wonder why. Anyway. Last I heard, the police are looking for this guy. But not only the police, so are a group of people who don't appreciate what he did. You can call them vigilantes if you want. I call them justice seekers. I'm calling payback artists. I don't have a problem with that. My personal hope is that the payback bros find him, find the punk who kicked that young man in the face before the police do. Because the police find him, they ain't going to do jack. And you know why they ain't going to do jack? Because the mayor, who's a soy latte, soft handshake punk himself, he knows what he's doing. He's using these BLM and slash Antifa types as his muscle on the street. He knows what's up to this crowd. He's not stupid. But the mayor, who's the police commissioner, ain't going to do nothing. That guy, if the police find him first, he might spend a night in jail. Maybe. Maybe. Because they have to now because it looks bad. It's on video. It's out there. And it looks bad. And you'll, I'll put the video in the description. You'll see it for yourself. It is hard to watch. I'm just going to tell you, it's hard to watch. I didn't want to watch it. I'm not a violent person by nature. And I'm not one of those people who, who gets all wrapped up and I just want to see all kinds of negative stuff. So my natural tendency is not to want to watch this stuff, but I'm, I watched it all the way to the end. Make sure you watch it all the way to the end. It blew my mind. I wasn't surprised. I was mad. Made me wish I was up there with the payback fellas in Portland. I really hope they find them before the police do. Because I guarantee you, they find him. If they do what they should do, he won't kick nobody else in the face. He might not be able to kick nobody else in the face. After that work, we got to stop this. There's a bunch of little minions and a bunch of little snakes slithering all over Portland. But the head of the snake, the head snake, is the mayor. Portland. I get that you guys get all in your feelings and you pride yourselves on being wokeity woke, woke, woke. Are you ready to vote for somebody who, who actually cares about you and your city? You got to cut off the head of that snake. That's called the mayor in Portland. You got to cut that head off. Because if you don't, all he's going to do is continue to appease these folks and allow this kind of stuff to happen. It's been 80 some odd days in Portland. Y'all ain't tired of that yet? A young man almost got killed trying to help a trans woman. Got kicked in the face and y'all ain't tired of this yet? See, if you vote for these same people on the city council and the same people in the mayor's office, you deserve everything you get. But the innocent people there don't deserve it. The apathy has got to end. What's that, what's that famous phrase? All it takes for evil to succeed is for good people to do nothing. It's time to stop being apathetic. It's time to step up. You don't have a choice no more. You've seen what happens when your apathy gets in the way of doing the right thing. Now it's time to step up and do the right thing. But I sure as hell hope those vigilante boys, those like I call them the payback brothers, the payback fellas, whatever you want to call them, the payback crew. I hope the payback crew finds you to the punk who kicked my, my guy in the face. And I don't know the guy who got kicked. I don't know from Adam. I can't stand bullies, though. That was wrong. You almost killed the young man. And to Mr. Mulatto out there who did it, I hope they put you... Boy, I hope they put you down. I'm not saying I want you to die, but I want you to get an ass whooping. You will never, ever forget. And I want it to last for a long time. During the beating and lingering after the beating. So you'll remember, never do this kind of stuff again. Because until we teach these guys and these ladies that they can't just run around acting a fool, 
they're gonna keep doing what they're doing. Somebody's gonna have to start handing out some ass whippings. That'll that'll quell all this real, real quick. But until then, it's gonna continue. Feel for sorry for that young man and his family, especially once we had to watch that video. It was, it was it's tough to watch. But I'll tell you what, it's time to stop this mess. It's time to stop. And this needs to stop before November. Don't wait for an election to get it done. Get it done. Anyway, guys, if you agree with me, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, a like, comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you disagree, oh, Steve, you just know what you're talking about. Whatever. Leave that, too. That's cool. I'm open to hearing it. Thumbs down. I'm cool with that as well. But I'd love to hear from you either way. Thank you for helping the channel grow. Please continue to share. Click that notification bell so you always get notifications when I'm making new videos. I look forward to talking to you all soon. I hope you're having a great day. Take care.